we're going to do something a little different today, as we always do. I <laughs> I am going to be trying to sell Matt on the concept of watching Death Wish. And if I can sell him on watching Death Wish, we will watch it, we will come back, and we'll record an after action. So let's read the back of the box, Matt. In this explosive story of revenge and urban violence, Charles Bronson, playing Paul Kiersey, a bleeding heart liberal who has a change of opinion. <laughs> <laughs> what? Negative. A bleeding heart liberal who has a change of opinion after his wife and daughter are violently attacked by a gang of thugs in their apartment. His, his daughter is sexually assaulted and his wife is murdered. Bronson turns to a vigilante as he stalks the mean streets of New York's and New York's multiple and on the prowl for muggers, hoodlums, and alike. Death Wish is a violent, controversial film that is frank and original in its treatment of urban crime and the average citizen's helplessness in dealing with it. Herbie Hancock wrote the musical score and watch a young Jeff Goldblum in his film debut as one of the young thugs. Death Wish. Awesome. That's going to be a hard pass. Oh, snap, crackle, and or pop. Well, I guess we're watching Waterworld. What is Waterworld? You don't need to know. No, I do need to know. I can't I can't be down for something when I don't know what it is. You don't need to know what Waterworld is. <clears throat> you just need to know that uh, it exists. And it's uh, an additional 45 minutes. To the 130? Yeah. So it's... So this gets you out of here in two hours. This gets you out of here in three. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's going to be a double feature. You know, we start at six. We order in. <sighs> All right, Steven Seagal it is. Ne no, that's in the pile of not watching. <laughs> um, come on. You wish for death. I don't wish for death. One against a hundred bazooka battles. What? One against a hundred bazooka battles. What does that even mean? It's a tagline said about this film. Dude, I'm just trying to. I'm just. I'm just hoping the Dodgers beat the. You know, Boston. This guy orders a special pistol. In the mail, has it delivered, and shoots thugs with it. It's great. It's great. 44 Magnum's a pea shooter. Got myself JDJ. I think. He might be shooting a Kazool. When was it made? It was made in uh, b -b -b 1974. I and mean, it's filmed in color. So it has that going for it. Why is the cover in black and white? It's not in black and white, actually. It's just in sapia tone. Well, why is his finger on the trigger and his barrel in his dome? <laughs> uh, There's no Char trigger discipline there. Charles Bronson doesn't need discipline, and he has a Browning 1919 that he uses to deal with thugs. How? You need to watch the film to find out. Yeah, that's gonna be a hard pass. Dodgers just struck out like rookies. It was filmed in Technicolor. I think that's the first time since like the 20s someone's used Technicolor as a selling point. <clears throat> it's in widescreen format. Rated R. Dolby surround sound. I'm just not in the mood for something that's like good. Like a good movie. I'm in, the movie for, I'm in the mood for, like, a bad movie. Like, a bad short movie. Otherwise, you know. A bad short movie. So no, no, not that pile. <laughs> so, not, like, a, um, I don't think The Blair Witch 2 is... Why are you picking the worst of the ones I've picked? <laughs> okay, The Blair Witch 2 is one minute shorter. Than what? Than, uh... Wally World? No, not Wally World. Uh, than, uh, Death Wish. <clears throat> is, is the Blair Witch movie like a bad movie? Blair Witch Two is yes. It's Blair. Is that? Yes, it's Blair Witch and Blair Witch Two. It doesn't show obvious signs of two. 
Actually, you know what? I don't... Oh, God. It's it's Blair Witch and the remake. It's not Blair Witch 2. I bought this for Blair Witch 2. It's Blair Witch and the remake. That goes in the not watch file. Sounds good to me. Okay. Um, Why are you just skipping like a handful of these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, we got uh, a, a Scout's Guide to the Apocalypse. Uh, to the zombie apocalypse. Uh, presented in widescreen format. Yes, yes. Filmed in technical. It is the same length as Dash Witch. Death Sandwich. <laughs> Death Sandwich. Um, come on. You know you want to do Death Wish. I definitely don't want to do Death Wish tonight. Death Wish is so good. <sighs> this guy. My folks saw it in theaters. I'm sorry. Okay. So, uh, you didn't like, uh, that versus that. Um, let's go with, uh, something from the shark movie collection here. We have this, uh, Mega Shark 8 film collection. Are there actually 8 films with that, though? Of the Mega Shark series? Not of the Mega Shark series, but in that disc? Yes. Alright. There's Toxic Shark. Okay. Shark Attack. Oh, okay. Sharks in Venice. That's not good. Shark Attack 2. Okay. Cream. M- Malibu Shark Attack. Hey, there you go. That's realistic. Shark Attack 3. Oh, wow. The Shark Zone. You think people would just get out of the water at this point with all these shark attacks? Shark Man. Ooh, there's a hybrid. Shark Man. Uh, scientist Dr. King, Jeff Combs, accidentally turns his son into a hideous half man, half shark while trying an experimental cancer drug on him. I never loved you, son. Here's some shark it is, venom. It is the same way <laughs> as Death Wish. Is that the common, like, bad movie, like, amount? <laughs> to be a film, you have to be 90 minutes. So just about everything's 92, 93 minutes. That's unfortunate. Death Wish. I'd, I'd vote Mega Shark over uh, that. I'll make, I'll make you wish for death. Yeah, you're already making me wish for death. <clears throat> It's, it's just that Death Wish is so up your alley, I can't even tell you. Well, I'll find out later. Okay, so are we going to be watching Toxic Shark? A poisonous shark stalks a holiday resort. The beast not only rips apart its victims, but hurls projectile acid at them. No one on the island is safe. Or out in the ocean. It sounds like, from all those movies, no one is safe anywhere oh do you know how crazy the shark concepts are no okay. i know i've heard of sharknado oh well sharknado is so tame shark lanch how do sharks even sharks in... in the snow yeah well, why sand shark they only like warm water no no, no. sand sharks sharks in the sand <laughs> i'm never going to answer brago again <clears throat> I, I do love shark lanch shark and saw in Arkansas? Yes, sharks in Arkansas. Oh, yeah, attacking uh, female prisoners. Ooh, you know they deserved it. <laughs> um, They're blame. They'll still blame the patriarchy. Ghost sharks. Okay. Sharks that can exist in any water. Not even your teacup is safe. What? Mm-hmm. Ghost sharks. You might be familiar of it from uh, its famous clips where a boy is uh, sliding on a slip and slide and just slips straight into a ghost shark. Or there's women at a bikini car wash and a ghost shark comes up out of the bucket and eats one of them. Or a guy drinks a glass of water and then a ghost shark appears inside him and rips him apart. <laughs> ghost shark. That's a good one. I don't have that one. Oh. Well, why tease me? <clears throat> so... I, I, I recommend Death Wish. I don't. I'm sure at a later episode I will be regretting not watching it sooner. You will. You will regret it. Okay. So, um, we could, uh, we could watch Shark Attack. We could watch Sharks in Venice. Sharks in Venice is pretty famous, actually. Let's watch one. The first one. What? Toxic Shark? Sure. Aren't, I mean, aren't we going to go through all of them? Um, the Mega Shark 8 movie film collection? Eventually. I mean, suppose. I mean, we already did Jason. X. Yes, we started with the last one. We could do them chronologically backwards. I would prefer not. Because <laughs> that gets real confusing. I, I suppose. Um, 
well, we could just work our way through the, the shark film collection. However, if you start the shark film collection, we will finish it. When? Over the next several weeks, we'll do all eight films in a row. Yeah. So you want to commit to doing eight films in a row before doing Death Wish. Well, I mean, we already committed to Jason X. Yes, we did Jason X, but we're not doing the rest of the Jason films currently. Why? Because I don't have them all with me. But you have all of the sharks. I, I don't have all the sharks. I have eight sharks. <laughs> eight sharks? <laughs> Yet no liquid is safe. No liquid is safe. Um, Cinemassacre actually did a great video on the top 50 shark films. There is... That's surprising. It's surprising to me that there are 50 shark films. Oh, he didn't list all of them either. One of my favorites is Peter Benchley's Creature, which is a shark that rapes. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it's a shark-human uh, hybrid that attacks people. Yeah, not to mention Grease. The sharks. Crickets, crickets, crickets. I, I don't know what you mean. The gang. Oh... Wrong movie. Anyway. Oh my god, it is! Is it? Oh yeah, it is totally uh, the... Uh, West Side Story? Um, West Side Story, yeah. Jesus. Why was I thinking my aunt, or uncle, or cousin was in Greece, and for whatever reason, I... She, I was just talking to her like two weeks ago. I think Sharks actually came up. Sharks? That's the, you know. So you want to commit to doing this. The next several times I see you, all we will do will be watch shark films. And hopefully eat good food. Better than Philly Grill. Oh, low blow. Oh. No, you just eat too much Philly Grill. Huh? You just eat too much Philly Grill. I know. I had too much. So, let's go uh, pause this recording and go watch some Death Wish. No. Shark Attack or Toxic Shark? What would you prefer? I mean, I f are they not related? They are not. Alright, then Mark, make a note. That we do whatever film we do and then just start knocking them off our list. Like a sticky note on the inside, maybe? Alright, so we're really going to go through this. Yeah, why not? Alright. How, how long is it? How long is it? It's probably 90 minutes. Uh, 88 minutes. That is what I call a B-movie. Mm, yeah, I don't think it counts as a movie. It's not full 90 minutes. Uh, so, uh, this is an Echo Bridge Entertainment. Excellent. My favorite. Uh, yes, Echo Bridge is uh, the best purveyor of fine films. To your audience, you can hear it's being opened for the first time. I uh, got this Mega Shark 8 film collection at uh, Walmart in uh, Omak, Washington for $5 out of their $5 bin. Eight movies for $5. You can't go wrong. You can't. Not with sharks, at least. Not with sharks. So, sharks notwithstanding, let's go watch some Toxic Shark. Did you want to watch Toxic Shark, or did you want to watch Super Shark Mega Venice Shark Attack 2? I think we should do all the non-Shark Attack films first. So, Shark, uh, sh Toxic Shark... We should do shark. shark Attack 1, 2, and 3 in chronological order. Exactly. So we should do Toxic Shark, Shark in Venice, Malibu Shark Attack, Shark Man, Shark Zone... And then Shark Attack, Shark Attack 2, Shark Attack 3. So that order. So, uh, dear audience, uh, bear with us. We will go watch uh, we'll go watch some Toxic Shark. Toxic Shark? Toxic Sounds Shark. Sounds good. I'm pumped. All right.